Today we're going to clean out the strainer basket located on the bottom of our Kenmore HE3T front load washer. Many of the new washers have a little access panel where you can see the strainer basket and it's relatively easy to clean out. Some of the LG models have them, some of the Maytag models. Here's just an example of a couple of the different models that have the access panel where you can easily get to it. Unfortunately, this model of the HE3T does not have that option available. So, we're going to go ahead and prop this up on a 2x4 just so I can show you what needs to be done and get easier access. Once you get it propped up, look underneath, there's three screws along the front. Now, these can be removed by either using a T20 Torx bit or, as you see here, I'm using a 7mm socket and a nut driver. Once you get all three of the screws located in the bottom of the cover taken out, it's real easy. You just pull forward on the cover and then slightly lower it and it'll pop right off. And once you get the cover off the bottom, you can see where the strainer access is and simply turn this counterclockwise and that'll remove the strainer. You may want to have a towel ready because this is the lowest point in the washer and you will get some water coming out. Once we get that out, we can look inside there, and you'll see that there's some foreign matter in there. It looks like somebody had a pen in their pocket when it went through the laundry. We'll just take that over to the sink and clean that out real good. Make sure that all the foreign objects are out of there. Once we got the basket all cleaned out, we're going to go ahead and clean out the basin area. Just get all the leftover residue out of there. Just kind of wipe it out with a towel. That'll get it clean. Once we get that cleaned out, we're ready to put it back in. And you'll notice there's a tab on the top part of this. That tab's gonna go in the notch. So you can see the notch right here. Just put the tab in the notch, lines right up, and tighten it up hand tight. Now all we have to do is put the bottom cover back on, simply slide it up in there and push the bottom in. Reinstall the three screws using the seven millimeter socket or the T20 Torx bit. And there you have it. And by periodically cleaning this out, it'll help your machine run longer.